Live from Central Park, it's your Decatur Municipal Band. Featuring soloist Steve Shepard and vocalist Chris Wright. Welcome, and thank you for joining us here in beautiful downtown Decatur. My name is Jay, and I'm the voice of your Decatur Municipal Band. This week, our theme is American Band Composers, and we have got some really great music ready to go for you from a lot of our favorite, favorite composers, as well as some awesome stuff coming your way from Steve and Chris both. If you would like to follow along, and you haven't done so already, we do have program boxes. There's one right over here. There's one right back there by the light post. There's another one right over here by the light post. And then one right over here. Also over in that direction, porta potties if you need them. We of course have Mr. Softy joining us again. Hello, Mr. Softy. <laughs> and our concessions tonight are being brought to you by and directly benefit Theater 7. They are right, uh, where are they? Right there, hello, Theater 7. <laughs> And speaking of hellos, we have one more that you really need to help me out on. Say hello to the guy over there. He's our conductor extraordinaire, Mr. Jim Colbertson. And you know this crew in blue, it's your Decatur Municipal Band.
was Kowaniska by Stephen Mueller featuring the Kowanis Marching Song. And we actually have several members of our Decatur Kowanis Clubs in attendance tonight. If I could ask for you to stand, please, so we can recognize you. See some back there. Excellent. Right over here in the blue shirts. Our Kiwanis Clubs do so much amazing work for this community, not to mention what they do internationally as an organization. So thank you all for being here and for everything that you do. We appreciate it. All right, next up, we present a piece inspired by the nonviolent civil rights protest of uh, February 1st, 1960, against a segregated lunch counter in Greensboro, North Carolina. This is a four-movement piece that honors each of the North Carolina Agricultural and Technical State University students known as the Greensboro Four, whose actions directly led to the Civil Rights Act of 1964. This is Freedom Defended from Rosano Galante.
Let's try that again. James Kerno, in composing this next piece, sought to capture the optimistic, confident spirit he sees in today's youth as they accept the challenges and opportunities of beginning life's journey. It is dedicated to teachers and parents who have helped shape, guide, and mold their students' lives and to those young people who have prepared themselves for life's adventures. From James Kerno, this is Toward the Sunrise.
Our soloist tonight is a retired Decatur Public School band director of 30 years, who now stays busy with various music gigs, as well as plenty of family time. In fact, I believe all five of his grandkids are here tonight, so no pressure on Papa. <laughs> the first of his two tunes with us this evening is Hunter's Moon by Gilbert Venter. This is a com comical rendition of a hunter who decides to go for a ride after having prepared himself for the chase by imbibing one too many spirits and therefore is quite unsteady in his saddle. The ride takes him through brambles and bushes, causing him to be thrown from his horse, knocked unconscious. He begins to dream of the beautiful maiden Diana, the goddess of the hunt. And when the dream ends, he is back on his horse full gallop. You're going to hear it all thanks to this man right over here. Steve Shepper, everybody.
How did he do on that first one? He did okay? Okay, good. <laughs> Pressure's on now, yeah. Next up, we have a melody that we should all recognize. Puff the Magic Dragon. Once again featuring Steve Shepard.
For our next piece, composer Randall Standridge drew inspiration from the numerous musical customs throughout the world and channeled it through his personal aesthetic to create a piece that celebrates the faces and identities of humanity. Now, as he says, not every single culture is represented. That would be impossible and impractical. He did attempt to pull from every continent in some way, shape, or form. And this is the result from Randall Standridge. This is Utopia.
know I have it on good authority. When he ends the song like that, it's not so much a flourish as it is bugs in his face, right? <laughs> the, the swap? Yeah. <laughs> Folks, our vocalist tonight is a CPA at ADM with a BA from EIU and an MBA and MST from U of I. <laughs> and FYI, he is set to become a grandpa in October, which is worth an applause all in and of itself. Tonight, his first song with us is a big one, so uh, feel free to sing along if you want. You'll know quite a few of the songs. Andrew Lloyd Webber, a concert celebration. Please welcome to your muni mic, Chris Riley. Jesus Christ, 
Who are you? What have you sacrificed? Jesus Christ, superstar. Do you think you're what they say you are? Jesus Christ, superstar. Do you think you're what they say you are? Don't you get me wrong? 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 Only want to know. Only want to know. Only want to know. Only want to know. Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, who are you? What have you sacrificed? Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, who are you? What have you sacrificed? set number two. Folks, for the first time this season, we've come to a part of the show that we like to call Meet Your Muni. This is the part of the show where we introduce you to your Muni members. Now we all know our conductor extraordinaire, Mr. Jim Colbertson. Everybody say, hi, Jim. Hi, Jim. 
but you may not know the names and faces, and we have several new faces this year of the rest of the group. So, from this point forward, each week we'll introduce you to a section or sections, and this week you get to meet your clarinets! Hello, my name is John Varecki. I play the clarinet, and my first concert with the Muni Band was in 2008. Hi everyone, my name is Corey Seepy. My first uh, concert with the Muni Band was 2019, when we moved to Decatur. Um, I'm also the band director over at a place called Millican University, and if you turn to the, the fourth from the last page in your program, you'll see our concert dates. We keep this concert band thing going, all throughout the year. So believe it or not, Concert Band does exist in Decatur throughout the fall and the winter and the spring, and we'd love to see you on Saturday, September 24th. My name is Emily Sheffer, and my first concert with the Municipal Band was back in 2012. Hi, my name is Julia Funk, and this is my first season. Hello everyone, I'm Quincy Tant, and my first concert with the Muni Band is way back in 2022. <laughs> uh, hello, my name is Skylar Tracy. Uh, I just started playing with the Muni Band this year. Uh, it's been a lot of fun. Hi, my name is Rachel Versman, and this is my first year too. One more big round for all of them. All right, our final selection before intermission is quite the treat. And you will notice here that I have brought up a typewriter. That is because we're about to present to you the typewriter. But we wanted to bring you the very best known to man when it comes to typing. So, using the very latest in traversable wormhole technology, we are bringing direct to you from the 1944 broadcast booth of the Cincinnati Whalers, they only lasted a single season, this right here is Baseball Hall of Mirrors inductee, Bernie the Smokestack Charbot. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, I'll be taking this off now, but I... Bernie, uh, we've done this once before. You were fantastic, but... Uh, Wait, when was that? Uh, last week. Um, yeah, it's coming back. Right, 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 right. Uh, tell the folks, you've actually been in Decatur before. Uh, that's right, Jay. I was here, let's see, Whalers played the Commodores. You guys know about Decatur Commodores, don't you? Right? Let's hear it for Decatur Commodores. Well, they beat the Whalers that day in a doubleheader. I think it was 7-2 to two in the first game. Really hot. I remember, it was my birthday, June 10th. In the second game, extra innings, and we lost again. Trust me, he, he types a lot better than he talks. Trust me. All right, Bernie, would, would, would you mind uh, showing us what you can do here? Ladies and gentlemen, this is Bernie Sharbutt. This is the typewriter from Leroy Anderson. Give it up for Bernie. Thank you. 
Enter to Cater Municipal Band. We can't really follow that, so a brief 10 minute intermission. Uh, just as a reminder, Theater 7 is over here, and anything you get from them, while being a delightful treat, will also directly benefit Theater 7. Something Rotten, first show of the upcoming season. Auditions, I believe, are coming up in August. 8th and 9th, so get more information on their season at theater7.org. We'll be back in 10. We'll see you then. All right, folks, we are going to get things started back up for our second set. And a couple things real quick before we do. Jim wanted me to share something real special. Uh, you all saw how talented Bernie was behind that typewriter. But what you didn't see was what he actually typed. This is, this is very special, I think. Uh, this is to you. You are truly an amazing conductor. It has been my honor to perform with your orchestra, Bernie the Smokestack Starman. Right there. Done in, done in real time. You know, you know what? I'm going to have Steve hold on to this while we get going. Steve, you want to hold on to this for me? There you go. Pass it back. There you go. All right. Uh, second, before we get started, we just want to have you all help us say goodbye to someone. Alec Moeller has been with us for a while now, but he's, he's moving to Indiana. Tonight's his last show. So could you all do me a favor? Say goodbye to Alec for us. And away we go. This is Bright Lights from Robert Sheldon. Right there. April. You're in April, my friend. Oh, you're old. I'm older than you are. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
title of our next piece is derived from the state of New Jersey, the Garden State. This is from Robert W. Smith, To Dance in the Secret Garden.
Chris now joins us again to sing the songs that make the whole world sing. This is Barry Manilow on tour, and that is Chris Riley. Past, 
and doing okay, but not very well. No jokes, no surprises. No crisis arises. My life goes along as it should. It's all very nice, but not very good. With yellow feathers in her hair and a dress cut down to them, she would meringue it and do the cha-cha. And while she tried to be a star, Tony always tended far across the crowded floor. They were for made to four. They were young and they had each other. Who could ask for more at the Copa, Copa Cabana, the hottest spot north of Havana, at the Copa. Cabana. Music and passion were always in fashion at the Copa. They fell in love. One more from Chris. This was originally done by an Irish Norwegian duo named Secret Garden, but it was popularized by Josh Groban. And this guy does it justice. This is You Raise Me Up, Chris Riley, one more time. Oh. 
stormy seas. I am strong when I am on your shoulders. Raise me up to more than I can be. You raise me up so I can stand on mountains. You raise me up to walk on stormy seas. All right, our final selection comes from C.L. Barnhouse. This is the Messenger March.
That brings us to the end of the show, folks. On behalf of myself, our soloist, Steve Shepard, vocalist, Chris Riley, Kenny and the entire Illinois audio crew, Jim Culbertson, and your Decatur Municipal Band, thank you for joining us here in Central Park for tonight's performance. And now, if able, please rise and join us as we sing your national anthem. right here in Central Park, 7 p.m. once again. We will be at Fairview at 6 p.m. on Sunday. Trevor May is our soloist, and uh, we hope you can make it out. Also, if you haven't done so already, mark your calendars. Wednesday, July 27th, we will be back at the Devon, and we'd love to have you all come out and join us there. We are Decatur Muni on the Facebook and the Instagram. Our website is decatermuni.band. Please get home safe so we can do it again soon. Thank you, and good night.